Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Coming to you from our downtown studios here in Lansing, Michigan. And right now we're going to spend a little time with Ryan Hunt. You know him as the CEO of Michigan Works Association here in Lansing. And uh, Ryan, it's always good to spend time with you. Uh, how are you doing? Did you get through the holidays and everything all right? We got through the holidays okay. Santa Claus showed up at our house. So our four-year-old daughter was extremely thrilled. We had a, a wonderful time. I uh, didn't do a whole lot, just a lot of rest and relaxation, watched a ton of football, and uh, we're back at it now in January. That sounds almost like a perfect vacation. Absolutely. Hey, listen, January is National Mentoring Month. So why, why is this uh, so important to be brought to a, an awareness level? Sure. Like well, I can't think of a better way to kick off the new year than to focus on National Mentoring Month. This is an annual campaign that's aimed at expanding quality mentoring opportunities to help connect individuals in your community with caring individuals who are also looking to provide value and ensure that they're uh, providing the right guidance, the right resources to help individuals make uh, great career choices, uh, engage in school, or reduce any type of risky behavior that they, uh, they may otherwise be inclined um, to conduct. What we've seen through research over the years, Chris, is that young people who are involved in mentorship programs are 55% more likely to be enrolled in college. They're also 81% more likely to participate in extracurricular activities, and also 78% more likely to regularly volunteer in their communities. So what we're also seeing, though, unfortunately, is that uh, one in three young people in our country will grow up without a mentor, which is why we're putting the focus this month on National Mentoring Month, just so we can continue to focus and expand those mentorship opportunities for individuals uh, who otherwise don't have access to a quality mentor. You know, it's kind of interesting because when you spewing out those statistics, I thought that one about extracurricular involvement, that plays really highly uh, on the list of priorities for employers. Who Absolutely. Are hiring, you know, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, they're always looking for what are what are you doing as an individual, uh, not just from the nine to five, but what other activities are you engaged with? Are you volunteering in your community? Are you contributing uh, as a member of your community? So those do go a long way in terms of mentorship. That's the personality we're all looking for. Um, you, you know, usually when people think of mentoring, they think of an older person uh, mentoring a younger person. But there's a lot to be said for like workplace mentoring. Absolutely. I really can't think of a better way, especially right now. Uh, as the country uh, across many industries continues to try and address this labor shortage problem. Sometimes it's those little tweaks and little fixes that a company can make that can really enhance the employee experience. So if businesses are looking for ways to retain their best people, oftentimes a, a, a mentorship program can be a great way to do so. Uh, just uh, some additional data that we can throw at you today, Chris, what we're seeing across the country is that for employers who do have mentorship opportunities, 94% of their employees are saying that they would stay at a company longer if they were offered opportunities to learn and grow through a mentorship program. Uh, two out of three businesses also report an increase in productivity due to mentoring. And more than seven out of 10 people with a mentor say that their company provides them with good career opportunities to help advance their careers compared with just 47% of those individuals who do not have a mentor. So mentoring in the workplace really is beneficial to all involved, both the mentor and the mentee, but perhaps more importantly for businesses, the organization itself. Uh, it takes a little bit of that apprehension out of a new employee too. It's like, I've got somebody kind of shepherding me through. So it's not quite a strange an environment. You know, uh, mentoring in the workplace is very beneficial for all those involved, the mentor, the mentee and the organization. How, how is Michigan Works involved in this mentoring? Sure, so uh, mentoring is one of the many services that the Michigan Works organizations across the state offer. Our frontline staff at each of the 16 Michigan Works uh, agencies statewide, uh, they work day in and day out with job seekers who may be facing a wide variety of barriers. So they can help connect those individuals with community partners to help assist those job seekers achieve their career goals. And sometimes that's uh, a simple matter of reaching out to help find uh, accessible and affordable childcare for individuals, maybe help with addiction services or assistance with transportation and housing, just to name a few. So th through that process, the Michigan work staff oftentimes do act as mentors to job seekers right there in their own community who are looking for just some additional assistance to stay on the right career path. All right, so great opportunity there. How, how can listeners uh, out here right now and viewers learn more about uh, Michigan Works Association and the Michigan Works uh, Network? 
right? And not just within the Michigan Works Network, but broadly speaking, especially in a place like Michigan, we have thousands upon thousands of people who are looking for ways to help one another uh, on a daily basis. So the Michigan Community Service Commission and Mentor Michigan both support more than 250 mentoring organizations across the state. Those organizations can help match adults with young people who are in need of role models. If you're interested in becoming a mentor, I would encourage you to visit the National Mentor website at mentoring.org. Uh, Mentor is a national organization that's working to expand the quality and quantity of youth mentoring relationships nationwide. On their website, again, mentoring.org, you can learn more about the role that mentoring plays in your community, and you can also find volunteer opportunities right there in your own backyard. You know, it's, it's really interesting because the education system is teaching these kids about the value of mentoring. When they come out of college, the first thing they do is look for a mentor. So it, it, it's, it, you know, the, 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 the information is out there and people know it's, it's a big part of this thing. So I want to thank you for, uh, you know, having the Michigan Works Association jump on board with this. Of course. All right, buddy. Good to talk to you. Always is. Ryan Hunt, of course, the CEO of the Michigan Works Association headquartered right here in Lansing, Michigan. And as always, keep up the good work, Ryan. We need you. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate it. We'll talk to you next month. You certainly will. All right. This is Chris Holman, and you're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. Stick around. We'll be back. With you.